Hey everybody, it's Jackie schomburg Minen. I am finishing up a small, probably just a two-part series on collage and texture. The first part, part one, was all about collage. The second part, which is this video, is texture. These are the same four 8x8 panels that I'm working on in both parts. And the first video talked a lot about how I apply the collage, the materials I use, why it's important to build up some layers. And today we are going to <laughs> look at what happens when you paint over the collage with a layer of white and get to sanding. This was my first time using a sander like this. I borrowed this one from my husband and I had some trouble with the sandpaper. It kept coming off the sander, which was problematic as you can imagine. I've since purchased an orbital sander and it is a little bit faster, a little bit more aggressive, but this one totally did the job and I was really happy with results. This, I was a terrible ergonomic choice. This is my children's very small plastic picnic table that I chose to sand on. So I was either crouching down or leaning way over. Keep your eyes on the upper left-hand panel as it runs away from me. Oh, there it goes. Don't worry, nothing was harmed in the making of these videos despite the immense vibrations coming off this tiny little table. I'm not trying to get all of the white paint off when I'm sanding. I'm just trying to get down a layer or two in some areas. This is coming inside now. I've finished with the sander. I'm spraying water on the panels now. Some of the outer layers of the gloss medium have been sanded through now so I can access the paper. When I get the paper wet and rub it with, I'm losing, I think I'm a baby wipe here. I also have a sponge that I use. That allows me to, to take that paper away to get even more aggressive and get down some more layers. I'm just trying to make some straight lines, literally scraping into the paint. That's an exacto knife literally cutting through it. And you can only control so much. This is an extremely freeing exercise. If you can remember all the different layers of paint, God bless you. I put some marks on the back to note where I had something interesting that I wanted to bring forward, but I have no idea all the layers I put down and where they are and where they were, especially across the four panels. So sometimes you just keep digging until you find something interesting. Other times I dig just because it's fun. Always new shapes developing.
there's some areas where scraps of paper or paint peeled up and I didn't want them to come off so I just glued them back down with gloss medium like that one right there again scraping some more paint off some more paper off the paper comes off surprisingly easily with water and a little elbow grease. So here I'm using baby wipes to apply some color and kind of wash it away. Really more of a glaze of paint across the surface. And using some Neo Color crayons to make some marks. Having all of the different layers of paper underneath instantly makes great texture. Across the surface of these panels, there's different levels, there's different layers, it's very obvious that there's multiple layers of paper underneath or multiple layers of something. Cutting through it just exposes more of that. Painting over these marks now, that creates more depth in the painting. It's not hard to find something interesting to explore with these. Honestly, for me, it's harder to start covering things back up because I find too many things interesting. I really had a lot of fun making these. I'm actually considering le releasing these four panels once they're completed as a mini collection. Let me know in the comments if you think that's a good decision or if I should hold these instead until the summer for my art fair. I think it would be kind of fun to release something a little bit early. Here I just made some drips. They're hard to see because it's white on white. Let me know what you think. I had a great time making these. I'm still working on them. Perhaps there'll be a part three uh, if I have enough material to uh, shoot some videos. Otherwise, you can always check out my Instagram page to see the finished products once I post them. Thanks, everybody. Bye.